Georgia voters can start casting early ballots for the July 31st primary election. This election will decide on casino gambling, with funds going to education, and, to what, and whether to impose a $100 limit on gifts that lobbyists give to legislators. Several nonpartisan races are also up for decision, and so are lawmakers in the General Assembly, members of the U.S. House of Representatives, prosecutors, and judges. We stopped by one Catoosa County precinct this afternoon and found a pretty good turnout on day one. The Election Commission says by midday, more than 100 people had come to Catoosa Hall, and the Commission says other precincts saw the same kind of traffic. Well, one of the races on many minds in Catoosa County is that race for sheriff. With current Sheriff Phil Summers leaving office, there will be a new leader for the department. The first new leader in more than 20 years, and sometimes that can mean some big changes. News Channel 9's John Pless spoke with the candidates today. John, what did you learn? Well, Kim, they all have law enforcement experience, but they bring other perspectives to the table, and it may well turn out to be a popularity contrast that decides this race. Let's begin with the familiar faces. Mike Helton is on leave from his job as Catoosa County Manager. He's also been a judge in magistrate court and has 16 years law enforcement experience, rising through the ranks in East Ridge and Catoosa County. And he's been through three FBI academies. Gary Sisk is on leave as the major in the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office. Most recently, he's been chief deputy running the office's day-to-day -day activities. He's also served the community as a firefighter and EMT. Larry Black is on leave from the sheriff's office with a lifetime of experience, including the Georgia State Patrol, chief in Fort Oglethorpe, and commander for the Judicial District Drug Task Force. It's Ben Scott who brings a new perspective to the race. He served in Chattanooga's police department, then joined the DEA, retiring decades later as agent in charge of the local office. I was never involved in politics. As you know, in the federal government, we have restrictions that we can't get involved in politics. So I was never involved in the system. So I think I bring an independence uh, to Catoosa County and a fresh perspective. The fifth candidate is Fort Oglethorpe Police Officer Jeff Holcomb. He is working today, and the law is he cannot be involved with this campaign while on duty. So you'll hear from him on his off day Wednesday.